last time I focused on the hydraulic tank. I fixed the main valve, sanded and refinished the top of the tank, cleaned the inside thoroughly, reinstalled the freshly powder coated filter holder, as well as installed a new sight glass. Hey everybody, welcome back to Maker's Acres, and thank you for joining me on this Genie Rebuild project. Unfortunately, the audio on this clip really turned out like garbage, but basically I'm on my way back from the company that rebuilt the pump. They took a few weeks and the pump turned out looking great. They ended up replacing all the pistons in this pump and a few other components. This cost about $1,200, and I think it was money well spent to guarantee that one of the most critical things on the machine is gonna work the second I fire it up. I looked at some of the teardown videos so I could figure out which exact way this goes on here. Now the powder coating may have added too much. I'm gonna try to just pound it on. Unfortunately, it took me about an hour of hand sanding to clean this out. So that powder coating is pretty strong. Oh, this pump is super heavy. So I'm just gonna wedge it with my leg. I think I'm gonna put a grease on this just to protect this. I'm just gonna use this dielectric gel doesn't take much. Just want to put a really thin layer to protect it from rusting and binding up. Okay, let's get this on here. That has been tightened. Oh, and it's heavy. So right now I'm just putting this drive gear back on the motor. I took precise measurements with my caliper here when I took it off so I knew exactly how to put it back on. Well, I was looking all over for these original bolts and I left them in the other engine, thinking I was smart. We tried for a while to get this on and ultimately it didn't fit and you'll see why in just a second. So this pump is actually on upside down. I noticed that when I was when I had it slung that this was supposed to be on the other side. So it's kind of good that it came off. I think it'll be easier to reposition that down here. And then I really need to come along here and fix this flange. I should not have painted that as well and that's gonna cause an interference fit. So I'm gonna try to knock that down a bit.
Oh, I got those on there, good. Okay, ready to go back on. Go ahead and come down. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to try to spin that way. Okay. okay. Come down. Down a little bit? Yeah, come on down. Stop. Down a little more. Okay. Yep, come up about half an inch. Keep coming. Okay, stop. Yeah. That felt good. Holy shit, man. It's starting to look like a thing. Well, I think you deserve a beer. Can you have a beer? So I just wanted to take a moment to share my thoughts about this. This was a huge milestone. Uh, I was a little discouraged last week after it didn't fit. It just meant a lot more work to get it in place. But man, it's in. I'm feeling good. Like I said, this is one of the last major milestones. There's like, you know, a piece of glass. I think it's gonna be the next heavy thing that we have to lift into here. But this is really, mechanically, 
uh, one of the last things that was holding this up is getting this in here. And now it's finally in. I do need to get the right bolts for this. Um, I realized I didn't order them. I'm gonna order those. So I'm just temporarily holding them in place, but that's not a big deal. Get that fixed. I'll get all the hoses connected and then I will probably move on to the wiring harness. Uh, and then I think there's the heater hoses and a couple other miscellaneous hoses. Now we are dangerously close to be able to put oil in this and start it up. I do need to get the exhaust and the intake systems on here. Hopefully those should go just like putting pieces of puzzle together. They should just kind of come together. No major fixes or anything on that. You know, I've been doing a lot of things in parallel. So when I get to things like this, they're done, even though they, they take a while to bead blast, powder coat. So those are all ready and Man, this is exciting. Really excited for this. So yeah, let's keep going. Getting ready to put these connectors back on, I realize they're still pretty dirty. So I'm gonna spray them with some Easy Off, clean them up, and then put them in the parts washer, just to make sure they're clean of debris. Here's a few I've already sprayed and I'm just kinda hitting it with the wire brush into the parts washer. So note for future Bob is that I lost this part and I had to go back to the old video archives. Uh, when I took this apart and found that it was still attached to the 90 adapter that was separated from the hose. When I took this off, I disconnected, I had to do a bit of sleuthing to find that I didn't take it to the hose place. I actually put it in some other special place and when I reviewed my video, I found where it was. Thank God because this is another Special adapter, it's probably a hundred bucks if I need to order it again, so. Um, found it, got some new O-rings. I'm gonna take some hydraulic oil. This is the old O-ring, still looks pretty good. I'm gonna try to reuse it, because uh, I don't wanna run back to the place to get a new O-ring. This is a low pressure fitting. Um, so. That makes me feel a little better. 46 millimeters. So, unfortunately, metric. An inch. That is a tight fit. Good on that one. Nice! What? Thank you.
Uh, now, unfortunately, to get to this one, I think I have to take off those two. Oh, shit, I might have already tightened this. Hopefully that's good. We don't have to come back and revisit that. Okay. Now that I've got the glass out of my eye, I can continue. That's tightened. That's So I'm marking these with a paint pin so I know that I've tightened them. I'm only marking them when I've tightened both sides so I know that the hoses have been properly tightened. Still have to do this one. It's the last one I've got to do. the hydraulic hoses are on and tightened as far as I can see. So let's move on to the next task. What you doing, baby? What you working on? I'm reducing our fire rate. Hi, crows. Hi, guys. You, you got a bee on you, so. Is he aggressive? No, looks like it. He's got a thing for bald guys. I guess he hasn't settled the score with.